just got into work. I hope that all of you are having a great morning. Don't let your visions stay as visions. Just start and start today. Just came back from my daily run. I improved by a whole minute. Check out my stats. All right. Let's get the day started. Okay, so I'm on my way to the uh, Mercedes-Benz dealership. I hope and pray that they can take care of my car and that it falls under the emissions warranty so that way I don't have to pay a dime for this repair. Apparently the particular filter is really expensive. It's that filter that filters diesel and it pushes clean air into the turbo. That's what I was told. So it's really hard to change it and expensive apparently. So I hope that it works fingers crossed really hope that it's covered in the morning I did a little bit of a so in the morning I usually record before I go into work I set up my whole thing and uh, 800 feet use the left two lanes to turn left onto Colima Road so every morning I record and I do my vlog right my car is like my office my studio if you will it's the place where I mostly talk and feel comfortable and sharing and uh, this morning I vlogged and it looks like my Rode video mic picked up some sort of weird frequency while I was recording. And I believe that happened because I was charging it. So if you're using a Rode video mic, don't plug it in or don't plug in your phone to a power source because it'll pick up static or some sort of signal. It was annoying. So. That footage was useless, um, so I gotta make the best of it. Staying on top of social media takes work and dedication. That's why you have to commit. You know, I meet a ton of wedding vendors on my app, um, on my app's Instagram profile, and I dialogue with them, I talk with them, I get to know them a little bit. Use the left two lanes to turn left onto Colima Road. And throughout my discussions, I asked them what are their Continue goals. Continue on Colima Road for four miles. Throughout my conversations with them, I asked them, what are your goals? What are your objectives with your business? What are some things you wanna, you know, complete? Like, what are some milestones for you? And then I take a look at their Instagram. I literally creep on their Instagram. I wanna know how active they are and how hungry they are in getting their name out there. As a vendor, that is key. In fact, for any business, project, anything that you are involved in, you want to get your name out there. And if you're not using social media, good luck. And they post like once a month. They post once every two months. And I get it. You're probably juggling, you know, a 40 hour job and on the weekend, you probably dedicate time into this and you probably don't have time for this. And there's a lot of probabilities, but you got to change that mindset and really focus and narrow down on your project, on your business, on your passion. If not, if you keep doing a 50% or even a 30, 80, or I mean, it's just not gonna work. You have to go all 100, all in. And they post like once a month. They post once every two months. And I get it. You're probably juggling, you know, a 40 hour job and on the weekend, you probably dedicate time into this and you probably don't have time for this. And there's a lot of probabilities, but you gotta change that mindset and really focus and narrow down on your project, on your business, on your passion. If not, if you keep doing a 50% or even a 30, 80, or I mean, it's just not gonna work. You have to go all 100, all in. I'm not saying quit your 40 hour job. I'm saying dedicate more time, stay up an hour, stay up a little later and just work. Honestly, that's the only way you're gonna see success is if you dedicate and you go to work every single day. That's literally the only way you can really achieve and to win. There's an ugly flare. I'm sorry. So I just got a loaner from Mercedes and this car is pretty legit. It's a C300. It's definitely, definitely an upgrade from my car as far as technology. But when it comes to gas, it's not that great. So I'm not gonna like that. 
So I'm on the way home, gonna pick up the wifey, maybe enjoy this car a little bit, and um, yeah, let's see what else happens today. Thank you, Mercedes. So we are at Target right now looking for those heel quick tips, little thingies that go behind the heels. Walmart didn't have it, and now we're at Target. So if you live in La Puente, check out Zero Degrees. They are bomb. Thank you. 